The experiments you will see have been carefully done by professionals and should not be tried at home without parental guidance. Please follow the caution signs throughout this program. Science, where we learn about our Creator and all the beautiful things that He's done for us, and I can't wait to see what today's program is going to be. I'm Aunt Francine, and this is Professor Roy. Hi. I'm excited to begin, but before we do that, let's introduce Carter. Hi, Carter. Amanda. Hi, Amanda. Eduardo. Eduardo. Hello. Hello. And Macy. Hey. Are you guys ready to have fun today? Oh, yeah. Yes. I yes. think we can have fun because I like water. Do any of you like water? Yes. Yes, okay. you like swimming? Yes. No, yes. oh, we've got one. It'll be great today. Uh, today <laughs> and a nice day. So, yeah. what are we doing today? Well, you know, we're going to learn something about polymers. You like polymers? I don't know. You know, polymers are interesting. First of all, we need to have a, maybe a definition of polymers. Now, a polymer is polymers are long chains of molecules. You know, everything is made of atoms, aren't they? And if we can take atoms and build them, and we can actually make molecules of things. That's interesting, isn't it? Well, I have a little, a little science trick right here we're gonna do. Carter, can you come over and help me with this right here? I've got this, uh, these are little beads right here, and they're all joined together, aren't they? So what I want you to do, Carter, is I want you to grab a hold of that little fuzzy thing right there, and you're gonna take it over here, and you're just gonna drop it off the side. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, drop it. Whoa. Oh, wow. Wow, what happened to all those? They all, there was fell, a chain out. They all fell out of the yeah. cup, didn't they? And they, each one of these little tiny beads represented what? A, a atom. A polymer, right? Polymers, oh, the nice. little chains of molecules. Each one of those was a little chain of molecules and they're all joined together. You know, sometimes we eat foods that, are, that are, are polymers. Did you know that? Some of the foods that we eat are polymers. We have polymers in our body, which is really, really interesting. Well, let's see, let's check out something else. Now, I've got a picture right here. Can you see that picture right here? Okay, well, whose picture is that? Jesus. Right, this is a picture of Jesus, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that right there. That's our picture of Jesus. But you know, there can be some things that can get in our way and so that we just can't see or have a good view or understanding about Jesus. So I'm looking at the cups in front of you right here. Can you look at that cup right in there? What are those inside of the cup? What are they? They're we like call slimy. Jelly-like. They're kind of like jelly-like. How do they feel? Like How do they eyeball. feel? Slimy. Huh? Like, like an eyeball. eyeball. <laughs> like an eyeball? Oh, well, they're not eyeballs, really. <laughs> but these are what we call water marbles. They're water marbles. And these right here in the little cup, they started out the size of a little tiny BB, and they're made out of polymers. And what we do is we stick them in water, and when we stick them in water, they absorb a lot of water. And they become uh, hydrophilic. Interesting, that's an interesting word, isn't it? Yeah, hydro, hydro, what does philic. hydro refer to? Hydro means water. Water, that's right. And philic means we're gonna fill up with water. So they fill up with water, and then they get that big, like inside of your glass right here. Now, what we're gonna ask you to do is to come up one by one, and I want you to pour your water marbles right inside of this little glass brick right here. And let's see what happens to the picture of Jesus when we pour them in. Go ahead. All right, go up. ahead. There we go, we're gonna pour them all in. And watch that picture, watch that picture. And they kind of bounce around and they got right, in there. We'll catch it. Okay, there we go. Okay, all right, come on go up. Ahead, Macy. There we go. Come and you're gonna, you're gonna go after her. Over. Okay, and Carter, you're gonna go after her. What's happening to the pitcher? What's happening to the pitcher? Well, you know what? It's a little bit hard to see that picture of we Jesus, that isn't it? Ahead. That's going. right, pour it all in there. Just jump them all in. There we go, that's there okay. We, go. we got Oops. some that are escaping, but that's okay. <laughs> all right. There you go, Carter's gonna pour his in. There you go, and Aunt Francine, she's got the I'm last trying. one, but, but maybe, yeah. Oh my, I, okay. I don't okay. have too many. Just a couple more just in a there. Few. Right, there we go. All now right. that's interesting, isn't it? Now, let's take a look. 
Can you see clearly the roughly. picture of Jesus? No, no. roughly. No. no. You know, I can't see clearly the picture of Jesus. You know, I can see some colors right there, but I can't see the picture of Jesus. Can you, Amanda? No. I can't either. But you know, each one of these water marbles, they, they actually represent some things that could get in our way for us to see Jesus clearly. Now, I'm wondering, can you help me? Maybe you can think about some things that get in our way sometimes so we don't have a good relationship with Jesus. What could things be like that? What? No. Uh, TV. TV, yeah, TV. yeah, that's right. Sometimes television things that we watch could... And sometimes... Oh, how about sports? Sports. Books. Books. Books, that's yeah. right, that's right. There's a lot of different things that could keep us from getting a clear picture of Jesus or keeping us from getting what? Getting real close to Jesus. Jesus would like to have us be close to him, don't you think? Yeah. I think so, that's interesting to me. But you know what? You know what we can do when we find out that we got a lot of things that get in our way, okay, of having a relationship with Jesus? What we can do is what? What could we do? We could pray, we could meditate, we could find out what we're doing and cut those things off, right? So mm -hmm. they don't block our, our way. And you know, I've got some water right here. This is okay. interesting. Now let's see what, uh, Aunt, uh, uh, You want me to pour it? Could you do that? If I do it, I'll probably but spill it. I might now, spill the water, it too. The water represents oh. the Holy Spirit. You All know, right, the Holy Spirit can come into our lives. The Holy Spirit can change us, can it? It can change us so the Holy Spirit can come into our lives. And now those little water marbles, they're not reflecting and refracting the light. They're not splitting the light. And now we can see right through them. Keep going all the way up to the top right over here. Keep going, keep going. Are you seeing that picture? Yeah. Look at that. Now I can like see circles. that picture clearly. Can you see that picture clearly? Yeah, I can see it. That's like right. Circles. Interesting, isn't it? That is very interesting. Wow. I don't want anything to keep in the way of me having a relationship with Jesus. You know, I've got some other water marbles. Let's check this out right here. I've got some. Can you see anything in there? Mm -mm. You can't see anything can in see there? Some. You can see some things? Oh, Let's see what's in there. Oh, you know what? But what's in there? The polymers. Oh, my. Uh <laughs> I'm picking up some water marbles in there. Isn't that interesting? There are water marbles in there, but you know what happens? The light goes through the water, and as the light goes through the water, that light energy goes all the way through those water marbles. And the water marbles have the same diffraction index as the water, so we don't see them. They're kind of like invisible. You know, some animals are invisible. They're clear, and we see right through their bodies. Can you think of an animal that might be, do that? We have some marine animals that, that, that are that way. Hey, look at this like one right here. Jellyfish? I've got I've got this big container right here, and let's see what's in there. Let, let, oh, let's check this out. Oh. I'm going to hand this to you, Carter. Grab a hold of that, Carter. Be careful, okay? These are giant water marbles. They're giant water <laughs> marbles, and you can check this Get one ready, out right ready. here. They're Get giant ready, water ready. marbles. Check that one out right here. All right, hold it, it over here. And I've got Snowballs one more for you. Go. go back and put it over there put so it, it don't your... drop on the floor. Isn't that interesting? Snowballs have transformed themselves into... Now, once those water marbles, remember, they're called hydrophilic. And that means they absorb a lot of water, don't they? A lot of water. Then when they get so much, when they get as big as they're going to be, they become hydrophobic. Then they're afraid of water and they don't let any more water in. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. I think so. You know, in this glass right here, let's check this out. Let us see what we got in there. And I'm going to see what we got. Now, Miss, here we go. Aunt Francine. Oh. Now, I want you to give. Oh. Now, these are cubes. Why don't okay. you give them a couple of cubes right here? Okay. okay. Each and they one come in, two huh? cubes? Everybody two cubes? Yeah, there you go. Okay. Here, I'm so just going to put them there. Check your, out those look cubes. Here. They look just like ice switch. cubes, don't they? There. They're not ice cubes at all. Oh, and that's like a spear. It's the shape of a little a spear. Okay, or a uh, what we call uh, little pieces of, of material. It's Interesting. And here's some other polymers right here, and they look just like crushed what? They look like ice, crushed don't they? Ice. They look like ice cubes or crushed ice, which is very interesting. Now let's take a, let's take a water marble. Let's see where did those marble water marbles go? Here we go, right here. Could you make sure that yeah everybody gets one of those? Okay. okay. Yeah, everybody can get Just one of those one? right here. You're falling. Okay. Okay. Here's here you go, one. and I'm gonna. Aaron, you got. They're here. breaking up. Okay. Hold put the water in marble cup. up. That's all We've right. We got water marbles right there. Hold the water marble up in front of you. Here we go. And then look at <gasps> your neighbor. Look at the person next to you. You are. Look at the person next to you. I can't. 
How do they look? Upside down. Oh, They're upside and, down. And yeah, That's really right. Down. You know, that water marble is just like your eyes. Oh, Professor Roy, yes. like when you look through the other person's marble too, you see the person um, the right side up. That's right. So it turns everything upside down. That's what our eyes do. Our eyes turn everything upside down in the back of our retina. Then your brain, your brain flips everything right side up. Isn't that cool? It is cool. Oh, that's amazing. It really is. And this little water marble, you know, you know what it can become? Look, you can put it on your hand and it's a, like a magnifying glass or you could put it on some print on a paper or a book. You could put it on the print and it's like a magnifying what? glass and, and it magnifies things, which is very, very interesting. And these are all called water marbles and they're made out of what? What do we call them? They're what? Made they're of? They're hydrophobic. Right, they're hydrophobic and also what? Hydro Hydrophilic. Hydrophilic. Interesting, isn't it? And they're all what? Polymers, aren't they? Polymers are very, very interesting. Wow, that is really cool. That and they have different sizes. Which size do you like best? This, this one. Right. Which like one? The big, right. well, the big one. Look how big right. that is. Look how big that is. Isn't that interesting? And you know, they're about 99.9% .9 water. Hey, take. Take one of those if you want and see if you can't break it open with your hand. See if the water comes pouring out of it. Did the water come pouring out? <laughs> Yours oh, just shattered. Better get, better get, Yours better just go. shattered. <laughs> the water doesn't pour out. One. All right. I'll but, probably need an, another one. Mine okay. Some, and they make one. a little bit of a I'll mess, don't they? Another one. But That's you know what? Right. These are also these are also used in landscaping <laughs> and potting <laughs> soils. So you can put these water marbles in a potting soil. They'll absorb a lot of water. And when the dirt dries out from the, all its moisture, then the water marble will leach out water very, very slowly. And that is very interesting, isn't it? Yeah. So when they break like this, you think we ought to throw all those pieces away? No. What could we do? Play with it. Play with it, and then after you play with it, what should we do? Can we dry it out? <laughs> you can put it back in the water, but we could do what? Dry it out and use it again? Yeah, you could dry it out. They will dehydrate, and you can use it again. Or you can just spread it out over your yard or in your garden, and they will help to retain the water in your garden. Isn't that interesting? I think so. But these are, these are non-toxic. Is that good? Yes. That's right. They're non-toxic, and they're very beneficial but for us as well. Probably doesn't really mean that you could eat them, even though they are non-toxic. Right, just because they're non-toxic, that's exactly right. We don't want to eat them, that's exactly right. I like those. I really do like them, and can they get them at home too? Yeah, you can buy these from scientific supply places, that's, that's right. That's kind of fun, you know what? It reminds me of how sometimes we are not totally formed in the image of God. You know, you see how we were like this? You know, and we couldn't see God because sometimes we fill things up in our life. But how do we stay focused on God? God. How do we stay focused on God? Read the Bible. Well, right. well right. read the Bible. And sometimes we need to pray for the Holy Spirit to fill us, right? Yeah. And take in. And when we fill that up, then we can be filled with kindness. And when we are kindness, what happens with our kindness? When we have kindness in our hearts, what happens? It we can expand our kindness to other people, right? And we can share that love with other people, right, mm -hmm. Gracie? Right. Right, Eduardo? Yep. So think of something that you can do that shows the kindness with others. What can we do to show kindness um, and, and be more like Jesus and show that image? Can you think of something? Sometimes just a smile, right? Yeah. Say hello or good morning. Those are all things that we can do to show who Jesus is. And people only know us sometimes by when we show the character of Jesus. Let's live for Jesus today. Are you ready to do that today? Yeah. Yes, I wanna show the love of Jesus and I hope you are too. Thank you for joining us on Creation is Science. Science.